Yeah, so today we have a little bit of an off the cuff kind of video. I wasn't planning on filming another video today, but then my fabulous postman arrived and brought me an eyeshadow palette that I just had to try immediately. So the palette we're going to be dibble a dabbling in today is the Delancey Nocturne eyeshadow palette. Delancey very kindly sent me this palette. They sent me a little email asking if I would like to try one of their palettes. You can imagine my response. Yes, I do. Please. Here is my address. They also let me pick which palette I wanted. I had a quick look on Amazon and this was the palette that sang to my vagina. So uh, this is what it looks like. It reminds me a little bit of the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collaboration palette just because you've got so many different shades in here. It's not like it's a kind of purely warm tone palette or like, you know, a nude palette. It's just a very kind of colourful palette and I feel like you could definitely get loads of different looks with it. You've also got uh, these kind of pressed glitters on the side. So you've got shimmers, mattes and pressed glitters. So I feel like there's so much that you could do with this palette, but at the same time, it's a little bit overwhelming because there's so much you could do with it, like how do you even decide on your look. Today, as always, I'm just gonna do some swatches and then we're gonna move on to an eye look. And I feel like today I want to do something a little bit different. I very rarely use kind of purples or greens on my eyes. So I feel like today I'm gonna just go for it and I'm gonna use this fabulous turquoise glitter. So grateful to Delancey for sending me this but as always that will in no way in no way affect my review of the palette so without further ado let's just do it by the way I must mention as well I am wearing the naked um blush it's the mineralize um here's to beauty blush and it's in the shade Angelica oh, I've just got it on and I just think it's beautiful. I just love its corally, sheeny fabulousness. So anyway, let's do the swatches. Either way, I have a new uh, stool. I must show you this. I know you're dying to see swatches, but guys, look at this. It's a unicorn stool. I got it from Amazon for about £6 and it's such a delightful little stool. Look at that. Oh my gosh, like literally I feel like I've made it like literally I have made it I've got my stool and I'm just at one with the world right now okay so I don't know if I'm going to swatch every single shade but I'm definitely going to swatch a lot of them so we're going to begin with a beautiful kind of orangey red this oh oh look at that this is making me really want to use this shade it looks absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh oh my gosh Oh my gosh, like it's so soft, silky, look at that. I kind of really want to use that shade now, guys, like really. Okay, next we've got Cabernet. And I'm going to just swatch um, Story as well, which is a shimmer. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't want to be too extravagantly, like, bombastically outrageous in this video, but I just feel like I can't help myself. Okay, so next we've got Silence, and we've got a beautiful mustard. By the way, that's still the other one that I just swatched. I've just not been asked to uh, wipe it off yet. Okay, so this one is Maple, and then this one was... Um, it doesn't matter, does it? I don't know. It doesn't matter what is beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe my little fingers. Okay, so next we've got Story and we've got Dark Clouds. Dark Clouds is the black of the palette. Okay, so we've got Dark Clouds and we've got, oh, beautiful shimmer. Beautiful, I'm actually loving this kind of, you know, colour family situation we've got going on as well so far. These are the next three. I'm not going to tell you the names of them all because I don't really think it's important. Oh my gosh, I love it. <gasps> love it. Okay, that's a bit shit. Okay, beautiful. The shimmers definitely feel like very soft and kind of buttery. Um, the mattes feel soft, but a little bit not soft as the shimmers. 
okay this shade here looks sensational i'm gonna swatch it next to that very first one because i feel like oh, i would love to pop that all over my lid today uh where's the other one there we go oh my gosh look at that oh, see i don't often wear like greens but that's like the most beautiful it's like a green but it's a bit duochrome it's got a bit of like copper in it guys i'm spoiled for choice like how am i ever ever going to decide what i'm actually going to put on my my eyes today i just don't know look at that beautiful turquoise <gasps> like i'm a huge fan of this this shade i i never wear these kind of shades so like never ever ever i can admire them i think they're beautiful but i just never wear them which is why i thought i might try them today oh, can you believe it like literally whenever the sun comes out the lawn mowers come out everyone just suddenly thinks i know let's mow the grass and it's like well no back back down back down relax let's not mow the grass let us just chill out and enjoy the sunshine and let and when film her video in peace i mean really guys okay we've got three shades like this one looks really interesting it's called moonlight it definitely looks kind of matte in the pan but it kind of looks like it's got oh no it doesn't it was just the way i was looking at it but i think it might be a bit duochrome uh okay oh my gosh always always plastered in swatches so i'm going to swatch moonlight which it doesn't surprise me it's not really showing up uh, because it's such a light shade but there we have the final three so overall i think the colors are so vibrant i just think there's so much you could do with this palette you've got everything covered like literally okay so guys oh my gosh i've got the glitters as well but i feel like i'm not really going to swatch them because it's quite clear you know what kind of shades they are and i think you know we've all seen glitters before so i hope you don't mind me not swatching them i'm just desperate to get on with the look and you know what i'm so tempted to do like a corally kind of pinky eye but i feel like really i'm going to try something a bit different so i'm just left with no idea about what to do but i'm just gonna wing it with winging it i've got my brushes i'm on my stool let's just do it okay so to begin i am gonna go in to this mustardy shade and then i think i'm gonna go into the um kind of it's like an an orangey orangey kind of shade by the way if you want to buy this palette it costs 16 pounds on amazon and 15 pounds on aliexpress i would definitely recommend you buy via amazon just because it will get to you a lot quicker and it's only a pound difference so oh my gosh look at that pigmentation guys for such a light shade oh my gosh oh my gosh like literally this is exciting i mean this is super exciting right now Oh my gosh it's blended beautifully look at that this is just with the first dip the first dip is the sweetest oh like literally what are you even do right now it feels like someone's drilling through the walls <sighs> okay i'm just applying a little bit more like what is happening i swear honestly it's not even like someone's look it's so rude guys i'm so sorry about the background noise i thought it was a lawnmower but it appears that someone is drilling through the fecking walls right now honestly guys my neighbors just are constantly doing diy it's like put your fecking tools down just relax enjoy life it's saturday for feck's sake okay so this shade is stunning like stunning in every way possible so next we're going to oh my gosh i mean i'm just spoiled for choice i feel like i want to put some of this beautiful like coral shade on i know like i don't know what, what look i'm doing like i have no idea right now what look i'm even doing but i'm just kind of layering them on and just i'm just going with the flow i'm enjoying the journey i hate that word the journey it's like what you know in the x factor cost contestants always say oh it's been a great journey you're like what what feck off okay so that is also a beautiful 
Okay, so I feel like I'm going to put some purple on. I have no idea why, but oh, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I've started. I've started. By the way, this is a bit of a shimmery purple. So, oh, I'm kind of regretting putting it on because I'm like, where is this look even going right now? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Like, I feel stumped because usually at this point, you know, especially if I'm using like lighter colors like as a transition i feel like i I've, i need to have done a lot more blending at this point but because the eyeshadows are so pigmented especially that first mustardy kind of shade i feel like oh my gosh i'm actually ready for a shimmer already i feel like like my wrist should have got much more of a workout at this point but i've hardly blended like and and here we are at the shimmer moment what i just I mean, okay, so I'm going to pop a little shimmer on and I have no idea which one. Like, my vagina's saying this one, but my head is saying, go for the turquoise, go for the turquoise. And I, should I just go for the turquoise? Let's do it, guys. Okay, so this is how beautiful it looks on my finger. So I'm just going to pop it on because I feel like I never do looks with, with turquoise. I've done a million and one, like, pinky, pinky-toned looks. But look, I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. Oh guys, it's sensational. It's sensational. And I'm going to pop a little bit of Fix Plus on because I think it looks beautiful as is. Like it's bright, it's glowy, and I'm really loving it. But I am just going to take it to the next level. And I'm going to pop some Fix Plus on a little brush. And we're just going to take this to the extreme look at that it's such a beautiful shade the formula is perfection i'm just i'm blown away and i'm loving the turquoise on my eye and i think it actually in a strange kind of way is complementing my corally uh, cheek that is an absolutely gorgeous shade it reminds me of like you know like santorini the sea it's making me think of the beautiful sea so i'm gonna go ahead bring my other eye to the same fabulous level that this one is on and then we're going to apply some glitter okay so the other eye has now caught up i just want to say at this point like it took no time to do this like no time i feel like out of every single eyeshadow palette that i own like none other blends out as quickly and easy as this palette it's just it's so easy to work with so i'm gonna now pop a little bit of i think i'm gonna go with um i don't know i feel like i'm gonna go with that corally shade and i'm gonna pop it uh under my eyes okay so we're gonna go in with a bit of the mustard uh shade just under my under my eyes Okay, so next we're going to go in with the beautiful pressed glitter in this, uh, it's just like an icy blue delicious shade. I would be totally happy leaving the look as it is, but I do feel like for the purpose of testing out the palette, we need to dig around in some glitter because there's glitter there, it's on the plate. I mean, what kind of makeup junkie would I be if I just neglected the fecking glitter? So, okay, where's my glitter glue? Like, I know my glitter glue is going to burn my eyes because it always does. But do you know what? You have to suffer a bit of pain for makeup sometimes. So, I'll just pop a little bit of this on over my uh, beautiful... Oh, I don't want to put it on. Like, I really don't want to mess up my eyes, but... I mean, I'm not saying the glitter is going to mess up my eyes, but but it might. And I'm really enjoying like them looking a bit different. But anyway, we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm just kind of putting the glitter glue in the very centre of my eyelids because 
I want to just start small and maybe, oh, Shania, oh, I almost dropped it. I want to like start small and then see how it looks and potentially then I can, you know, cascade it all across the lid. So let's do this. Let's put my finger. Oh gosh, guys. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's a press glitter. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I decided to pop this on. Okay, I'm just going to pat that onto my lid. Oh God, this is absolutely heavenly. Just popping it all up in there. Oh guys, look at this. I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh yeah. Okay, it's definitely going across the entire lid. Yeah, definitely, definitely get a little bit more. Look at that. Guys, do you know what? Like, I am so impressed with this palette. I am definitely going to be buying some Delancey palettes in the future. This is absolutely amazing quality. I could not be more impressed with this. Like, in every single way, in terms of the shades, in terms of how easy they applied and blended, in terms of, you know, just the pigmentation. Oh, just everything about this palette I'm just loving it. like I'm loving it look at that oh gosh guys like literally oh my gosh do you know what I don't think I am going to put it over the entire lid I feel like that might be a little bit too much so I'm just keeping it look at that I just I want to show you my finger just have it there like my finger is at a sidekick now, but look at this. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to go away. I'm going to do my mascara and I'm going to be right back. <sighs> okay, so we have mascara. The look is finished. And as I was applying my mascara, I was just sat here thinking about how quickly like it took to just create this look. I'm not being totally like dramatic when I say how quickly these eyeshadows blended but they blended like so super quickly I just feel like this palette is an amazing quality palette like I would totally recommend it to you I feel like this is the kind of palette that you know if you only had this palette in your collection you would kind of never get bored of the eye looks that you could create just because there are so many options I like the fact that they've included the pressed glitters as well and I think that's a really nice touch uh, because you know you can go with just your shadows and have a fabulous look or if you really are just feeling a little bit extra or you know if say you're at work but then you've got a party to go to well, I never go to parties sadly but say if you are going out after work you could bring your palette with you and then add a little bit of glitter and you're like oh my gosh like I'm totally party I'm when now do you know what I mean so okay overall I'm just going to give this palette a 10 out of 10 because it deserves it it's a really amazing palette and I just feel like you would not be disappointed with this it does remind me so much though like let me just show you it reminds me so much of the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe collab palette. Obviously, the Jaclyn Hill one is much bigger, but can you see that? Like the Jaclyn Hill one's got the turquoise, that kind of you know royal kind of blue slash purple. I just feel like, say, if you really wanted to buy this uh, Jaclyn Hill one and you couldn't afford it, then uh, the Nocturne would be a really great uh, dupe for that. Um, but within its own right, I just think it's a fantastic palette. Thank you so much to uh, Delancey for sending this to me. I really do appreciate it. I definitely will be getting lots of use out of this palette. And I definitely will be trying out more of their things. I think the reason why like, I've not bought a Delancey palette so far is because they are a little bit more expensive than you know Fuckle Your Beauty Glazed uh, You Can Be and I just think because I was so happy with those palettes I just thought well do you know what I don't really want to spend like £10 more but I'm really glad that Delancey sent this palette to me because now I definitely would be happy spending £10 more. Um, do I think the quality is loads better than a Fuckle Your or Beauty Glazed? 
Probably not, but I do think it's up there. Like, it's a really great palette. And I suppose if you compare it to, like, you know, high-end palettes, Urban Decay, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, etc., it still is, you know, a very affordably priced palette. And I know the word affordable is, you know, it's a crap word, really, because it is definitely... Up you know, subjective, what's affordable to me may not be affordable to you, what's affordable to Jeffree Star definitely is not affordable to me, but do you know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I'm going to go now, I really appreciate you watching this video, I hope that you've enjoyed it, if I have missed anything out, please feel free to ask me in the comments, and uh, let me know down below if you've tried any Delancey eyeshadow palettes, and if you have, which were your favourite, which do you recommend, uh, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, I've really enjoyed making the video, and I hope that you've enjoyed watching it too, and yeah, I'm going to go now, I don't want to go, I want to just stay chatting all day, but I'm going to go, thank you for watching guys, bye!